It is that time again where we get into the next episode of Bleach episode 3, of course, 3, episode 29, the Dark Armor, I believe it is called. We're going to jump right into this because, again, still using my phone for the time being. I don't have that much space, so we're just going to get into this and forget about all the fluff. But before I get into the episode, you got to hit that like and subscribe. But of course, if you want to see more reactions from your boy, from the from the law guy, the cubology guy, not that other guy on YouTube. You know who I'm talking about. But anyway, without further ado, let's get right into this. Hit the intro, shall we? Opening time. I love the opening. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta listen to it. Banger opening through and through. Again, never Ruka though. L, L opening. Honestly, it's a nine out of ten. It could have been a ten out of ten, but they didn't put Ruka in. She's significant in the war. She does her part. Anyway, doesn't matter. Uh, Sorry, Aaron, I had to steal your flow with that, that breakdown. Okay, let's get into it. Episode start. Oh. There's the big hole in Mayuri slash Kisuke's... Oh, right off the bat. Right off the bat. I will take... Okay. Ukitake? Off the bat? Mimi ha... Is it? Kione? Santoro? Santoro. <laughs> Forgot his name. Damn, the Rukia screenshot too, right off the bat? Mimi Hamisa. In the eye and basically my organs. Really? Right off the bat though. Right, we're gonna go into a flashback now. How how far ago in the past was this? Please bless us with your power, Mimi Hamisa. There's Jungu Katake! And devour his organs. Mimi Hamisa. Mimi Hamisa. That's really that's a bit of a tongue twister for me, I don't know why. Was he in that statue? Or was it just a statue? I guess he that man's foaming from the mouth. Man's got rabies. That's crazy. I'm sorry I didn't bear you healthy. That's a bit of that's a line that is. Hey, his mom's all right, you know though. Hold on, pause. I wonder what happened to his parents then. Mother, don't cry. That man had white hair from the get go. Man was stressed. Ooh, the, he's he's crying. Mimi Hagi's crying. Crying. Why can I not say Mimi Hagi today? Hey. He devoured his organs. Oh shit, here he is. That's just a fist. It's... <laughs> That's cool though. I, I actually don't remember what's in canon or not. Because I haven't read this flashback in like a long time. Are you sure just grabbing his tears and drinking it? Oh shit, man got preggers real quick. Very progressive if you, if you coop. <laughs> Be consumed by the cum. The sperm. The black sperm. Oh, he's got black hair all of a sudden. That's a cool title card. That's a really cool title card. And he's up. He's popping. Mimi Hagi saved my life on that stormy night. Oh, we are. This this got to be in canon. This has got to be in canon filler. Because I don't remember it being this long. I'd have to like double check. It's got to be, right? Yeah. And I'm all for it, to be honest with you. They did a lot of promotional art with Shensui and uh, Ukatake, so I assume there's going to be some extra lore. Damn! Granny's got moves! Jishiro looks looks good, man. Like, this is this is really cool character design. I love Bleach, like, in this colour, man. It's nice. It's so nice. We, we... We missed out so much. Remake the old Bleach anime, man. Then come and join me at the Soul Reaper Academy. Is this a character we're supposed to know? Uh, oh, damn, Ukatake got. Ooh. I love that. You know, Ukatake has got moves, but like he's so gentle with it, you know what I mean? So, like, this is great for his character, actually. I don't know, it's just little things like that where you're like, oh, he's gonna do. Oh, no, this is Jushiro we're talking about. Man's bleeding. It, that's something I never really understood, is that if Mimi Hagi is like, kind of... Maybe we'll get lore, we'll get lore, but it's like... I know he's devoured his organs, but why is he still bleeding, right? Don't overdo yourself, Hikitake. Kyoku flashback now. Hey, it's Chujuro, and Yamamoto, and Inahana. That's cool, that's really cool. Because this should technically be like the start, right, of like the Sorry Academies. Now good form. 
they still are green, but they're potent. Yeah, like this is like the first Soul Reaper Academy, right? Man, just coughing blood on his opponents. It's a bit mad. But he's still kicking, though. Oh. Damn, they were so tough, they broke the fucking wooden swords. The Bokans, I think they're called. Yeah, that's cool. This is cool. I love this. This is all new, and I'm for it. Oh, this is cute, man. Which... Jushiro got done so dirty, man. I know we've seen him fight in like the Karakura Town War arc, but Kubo, if only, man. Can Jushiro even drink alcohol? I wonder if any of these characters are ones that we know from now. This is cute, man. This bromance is crazy. You love to see it, which makes it even more sad. Oh, this is where Mimihagi was. I wonder if that statue's still there then. It is. Yeah, Mimihagi, the local deity of East 76 Ryukan District, Shakahun. Shakahun, eh? Shakahun. So it really does exist. Yes, it does. The room is among the upper noble clans. They say that long ago, a divine power of the Soul King got detached and fell from the heavens. Doesn't make sense, right? This Soul King is still at the Royal, the Soul King is still at the Royal Palace. But seeing this Mimihagi, we're starting to think that the rumors were true. It's big. Too. That's a big statue. It's a big hand. I guess it's going to be more, shaped more like a fist. The body is said to bring many blessings. The left hand controls advancement, and the right hand controls stillness. Stillness. Banger. But I did have a feeling I managed to survive thanks to Mimihagi. It's interesting that Kyoku went to go see it, and surprisingly, it's still there, like as a statue. Did it transfer? It's got to. It must be just a statue now. Like surely, like it's transferred to Ukatake now. So, hmm, fascinating. So he's a captain at this point. We've gone forward. No one can ever replace Kyan. We understand you're born with an incurable lung disease. Or he may. <laughs> so he wants to be lieutenantless. But then why is Ki what is Kiyone and Sat Satoru then? At this point, he's got a bonkai, obviously, because he's captain. And he thought about not needing a lieutenant. But why? But then he may break a lieutenant, so... There comes a time to put your life on the line. That wasn't your time, at all. I wonder if Ugatake could actually die because of Mimihagi. No, no, he might. Okay, so Nanao is in this, so this is after the past of the turn back the pendulum. Okay, and now we're back to, to this. Core 1. Yeah. As a head guy, felt this horrible. If old Gemma was still alive, I'd never had time, have had to find out. Burns, it's time to drink with you. Was there ever a time when drinking helps ease your worries, especially whenever I got dumped by girls? Who's dumping Kyoku, man? Who's dumping this man? This Chad. You have my full attention. I'd like to be alone for a moment. Hmm. This is great. This is really fucking cool. Farewell, Captain Okatake. We'll see each other soon. Damn! Is that a hell reference? Oh, and that. Oh, wait! Oh, so this is in front of the statue! Oh my god, why did my brain take so long to clock onto that? That's where he was meditating in front of. What? It looks like eels. Damn. Power Mimiho was attached to my lungs. Okay, so it didn't take all of his organs. Which other expands that power to all my... Oh, okay. It's called Kamikake. Every organ in my body now belongs to Mimihage. Okay. By giving all my lungs to Mimihage, I become an embodiment of Mimihage. Makes sense, obviously. Yeah, so it was a vessel. Like, it makes sense. From the moment I knew why I survived, I thought about this day. Yeah, he was going to be used at some point. Was that another reference to the to PB? If you die, what will become a squad 13? You, girl! You! Seems I've always made things hard for you. Yep, just a little bit. All I will say is, thank God they've done the flashback colours just normal. Like, no overbearing colours. Even if it is black and white, please just keep it black and white. Even if it's for the next call, keep it black and white, please. Okay. Damn. Damn. Rest in peace, Ikataki Jushiro. I wish we got to see more of you. But hey, 
Great backstory. Great fucking backstory. Right, now it's time for Big Man himself. Alright, let's have a talk. Sorsuke Aizen. Hehe, <laughs> everyone's gonna lose their fucking shit, man. I know people are so excited to see this man come back with the chair. Nimihagi, and then some information in Japanese. So. Oh! Oh, we, 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 we keep we carrying on. Of course we are. We had the screenshot. Where great numbers of souls pass through. Now that that's gone, the people of Soul Sides, the prefaces, the prefaces worlds. Okay, so the prefaces world is. Somebody was asking about that. What happens to the prefaces world? Well, I guess that ceases to exist too. You use your powers to restore the Soul King. Okay. Come on, Chad. Oh shit! Oh shit, Chad! Come on, Chad! Come on, Ganju! Be Ganju and Chad. No way, say it ain't so. Yes, Chad, get in there, son. Get in there, son. Hey, we love to see it. Oh, no! I actually thought it was gonna work then. Oh, you know what you know? Hey, this is looking beautiful. Here's some nice cuts, man. <laughs> Fucking Chad, my go! <laughs> my go, Chad! You cannot be done with us what power you use. The Soul King can no longer be resurrected. Yo, shout out to Ganji for trying. No, Jishiro, no! Damn. It's actually been done a lot more nicer than the, in the manga, that's for sure. I guess Yuha was waiting for this too, right? Wait! Yeah, he never saw the shadow coming. Yeah. Obviously, he's still. Why didn't my eyes foresee this future? Mm, we're probably gonna get more lore on that too. Obviously, you can't surpass the Soul King, right? You can't surpass more than what he allows his inheritance to see maybe if that if that makes sense like you can see but if there's someone stronger than you then obviously they're gonna slip through the cracks much like potentially ichigo could mm. this is the first time i've seen or heard of a kamikake mm. damn man that looks that looks bad man damn it doesn't look like a nice like way to go to be honest you sure? Let's put in some work. Right, eyes and time. This should be the last screenshot from the spoilers that they showed on the website. Are you against communicating via spiritual pressure? Or is this place making it impossible even for you? Drop open the keys! The keys. Let this man talk. I've been allowed to only use three of them. I swear to God, man. The Central 46 is so stupid. Unlock the mouth. You should be able to talk with your mouth, yeah. Not with spiritual pressure. It would be a challenge even to talk after having your mouth shut for two years. I would imagine so, right? Only remove the seal on his mouth. Oh, that's a that's an image, right? You still have two more keys. You didn't, yeah, yeah. That makes three. Yeah, almost had him spooked, to be honest. Since you haven't changed much. I'm not sure if I should take those. Yeah, it's got to be hypnosis. Like, there's no way man's actually like standing, right? Would a man who doesn't want to leave tell me to use the remaining two keys? Ooh, Kyoku, called your bluff. With a key embedded in his body, well, you saw me. Yeah, yeah, he has a key in his heart, right? But you could just kill him, right? So if you're killed, the gates of the Mukan will be sealed. Ah, right, makes sense. Okay. Mm. I, I mean, look, I don't fox with the Central 46, but they thought about it. They're so stupid, but this is the one time that they did good. It's in the chair. The chair summer is back. Let's go. I bet you're misbreathing up the air in Soul Society. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's a great, that's a great shot. Don't, 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 don't do that. Yeah, don't. That was a bit quick, to be honest. I feel like that was a bit of a quick shot. 
Oh. He's just like Gojo. No, I'm, I'm going to stop. That was cringe. Even oh, this is a nice OST. I'm not asking you to vote for the sake of the Soul Society. However, I do believe we share similar interests. Get in the chair. Of the pathetic Soul Society about to be crushed by Yuha. Ah, uh, is there post credits? Nah, no post credits. Come on, man. I drew my bow, fingers on the start of the. Okay. Against the moon, I thought I left behind. Who's that? I had, um. Had fingers on the, the arm. Who is that? There we have it. That was Bleach episode 29. And to be honest with you, uh, what did I expect? Well, I didn't expect Chad to do anything, personally. Uh, that was a bit of a shocker. Uh, <laughs> you fucking shocked. Yo, I respect it. Everyone was talking shit. And I, I was always saying to people, what do you expect Chad to do? If Ichigo can't do nothing, you know Ichi can't do nothing. What do you expect Chad to do? And, you know... And, and I bet you people are going to take the piss out of Chad. People are still going to come at this man sideways. I don't care. He tried to fucking do something. And do you know what? Respect all to the boy Chad. And do you know what? i got to give it to Ganju too. Fuck it. Like, he, he knows his place. He knows how to do distraction. Chad came in with the punch. Or he may almost had it, man. But again, we had some a fascinating lore, especially with Ukitaka's back. So we had that more fleshed out. I'm really happy about that, especially with Mimahagi and the, the statue and him and his relationship with Kyoku. That was really good. Obviously, Aizen coming into it, a bit of setup towards that. And of course, um, having Yuha versus Ichigo a little bit go towards the end. And it was some nice uh, character um, animation directing, I have to say. I really enjoyed that. Oddly enough, it really felt like this episode went really quickly. Did anyone get that? Like, I felt like this episode was like such a, a bit of an information dump. It's unfortunate because I feel like I want more. But that's going to be like every week, right? So, again, fantastic episode. That's my reaction. And to be honest, just through scrubbing for the episode itself, half of it's like Mimi Hagi and Anuka Taki, and half of it's like Kiraku and Aizen. So yeah, all I have to say is, I mean, in comparisons to manga from like, obviously reading it from back in the day, and you know, I, I feel like the bad's been harsh or back, so it's going to be go, go fucking crazy. But I love the fact that, you know, Unohana's voice actor came back and, and, and uh, Yamamoto's voice actor came back for their little things. And it was nice to see a little bit about like, kind of like the first, I want to say, the f one of the first Soul Reaper Academies. And then seeing like uh, Ukitake and Jishiro kind of like, fight do some training it seems like they were one of the only ones at the time so it was really nice to see what it was like back then obviously nice to go back in time and nice to see the characters again and also it was a really interesting hint towards potentially the hell arc where ukitake says to unahana you know wherever you're going i'll see you there soon Right, I, I guess it's implied, right? I mean, it could be implied that they're gonna die and they're just talking about death and not hell, but they should know about hell. Like, through and through, they know about the ritual, about like X, Y, and Z, about the superstition. So chances are they're talking about hell to some degree. And um, Ukitake was like, yeah, like, I'll, I'll see you there soon. And considering what we've got in the whole chapter, yeah, so that's gonna be, is, are we getting setups? No way, Kubo? Are you getting selfs? Anyway, hit that like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to catch you guys for the next spoiler video and the next episode's reaction. With that being said, I'm going to catch my focus that you guys, of course, have this fine day. And as always, people, peace out.